Okay. Um, this um, section, is, I mean, this is for Math 110, and it is the section 6.1. And I'm trying to do two bird. I'm trying to do two things at one time, so y'all just gonna have to bear with me. No, that's not what I want. And it's not working out good. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take my handy dandy straight line maker and I'm going to make a line going this way and going this way. Now, the problem that we're doing is come out of 6.1. I don't know what number it is, but um, I think it's X. Okay, my pen's going crazy. There we go. X minus Y is equal to 3, and X squared plus Y squared is equal to 9, which you could do this two ways. You could either solve for y and graph using your elementary methods like uh, plotting points like I showed you in the video, and you get a hyperbola on this side and a hyperbola on this side, which basically makes a circle. You could do it that way, or I'm going to show you a different way, um, negative y is equal to negative x plus 3. y is equal to x minus 3. There's one line. You know this is a circle with a radius of 3. So I'm going to try this. I'll take my handy dandy shape maker. I don't know if this is a circle or not. That doesn't look kind of elliptical, but Mm, I don't know how it does that. Let's see. Let me try it again. Maybe if I just go one, two, three. It's just not going to let me do it. I was hoping to. this one two six one two three four five six I don't know if that's right or not but that's good enough for government work but well I'm trying, people. Doing all this for y'all, so don't fuss at me. Let's see. I think that's close to. There we go. I think that's close enough to that circle right there with a radius of three. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. And then we draw this guy using your intercept method. And that's going to be, just, I'm going to do intercept method. Your x-intercept is going to be 0 for y. Your y-intercept is going to be 0 for x. <clears throat> and plug and chug, 0 for y is going to give you a positive 3. And 0 for x is going to give you a negative 3. So your y-intercept is going to be right here. And your x-intercept is going to be right here. And there's your two intersection points. So you take your handy-dandy straight line maker. And you draw a line from there to there. And that's your intersection points. Now, if you wanted to do this on a calculator, 
Let's see what we can do with the calculator. First of all, we've got to pull the calculator up. And that's going to, well, I'm trying, people. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Okay, it's not gonna. It's not working with me. I don't understand why it's not working. Let me get out of this. equal delete clear there's a way that you can do it and I'm trying to think this is not helping you probably could grab it like I did on the video the other day but I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it, and I can't do it right now because I'm trying to do two. I'm trying to do two things at one time. Oh, I know. The format, second format. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Mode. Where's mode? There we go. I'm trying to see if you can do it in here. I believe you can do it with a parametric. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see what happens. No, that's not going to work. Where well, you could solve for X and Y. But we're not going to do that. I'm trying. I guess you're just going to have to graph it with a. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pause this video. I'll pause the recording. And I'll get right back with you on that. After I look it up. Okay. After a little bit of playing with the calculator. I got it to work. And there's the. And you can zoom it in a little bit. And you might want to set the windows at negative four to four so that way you can see it. And set your Y from negative four to four. Now graph. There we go. And circle it in to second program. Go down to circle number nine and type in, I'll well, get out of this, zero, zero, 003. So second program, draw a circle. Coordinates for your center would be zero comma zero, and then comma your radius is three, and hit graph. I don't know why it's not graphing it. It graphed it a while ago. Let me zoom out again. Okay, now that's interesting. Second program. Okay, let's take the graph out then. Evidently, it won't do it. Second 
program control circle okay there I'm not going to do that. I'm going to clear it and do it again. Second program circle zero comma zero is your center and comma three is your radius. There it is. And then now you can do your y is equal to x minus three. And there is your intersection points. Now you can, of course, you can take zoom, box, and I'm going to just zoom in on the circle so that way I can see the intersections better. This is just up to you. It doesn't matter however you want to do it. I use zoom box a lot. And evidently when you do that, it takes the circle off, but you can see that the intersections are the X and Y intercepts like we did by hand. Okay, I hope that helps.